weekly F1 roundup, Toto Wolff has commented on Mattia Bonato's F1 future as the FIA make tweaks to the budget cap rules weeks after Red Bull's penalty. The dust may have settled on F1's on-track action with Max Verstappen picking up his second title. However, news last week that Ferrari team boss Mattia Binotto would resign from his role has sent the paddock into a frenzy. Toto Wolff has stressed he would not look to hire Bonato despite his experience of almost 30 years at one of Mercedes' biggest rivals. The FIA has also made alterations to the cost cap rules for next season while George Russell has opened up on his 2022 advantage at Mercedes. Express Sport takes a look at the biggest news stories from the F1 world over the past week. Toto Wolff won't hire axed Ferrari chief Mattia Bonato. Mercedes team principal Wolf has admitted he would not be interested in signing Ferrari's Bonato after the Italian was axed last week. Wolf stressed the pair had their moments in the past which would make it difficult to form a working relationship. Wolf said, I think there was too much porcelain broken between us over the last few years that this would be possible. With the other teams. I can't say. He added, Mattia and I had our moments, it's not secret over the many years. But we consolidated that in 2022. We are in a much better place, but it was always clear that he was under tremendous pressure. Bonato and Christian Horner are understood to have hit back at Mercedes calls for rules changes after Lewis Hamilton suffered severe back pain at the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. It has also been reported the two rival bosses were involved in a heated exchange with Wolf in Canada in front of Netflix cameras. FIA make changes to F1 cost cap rules for 2023. Teams will be given double the amount of money for sprint races in 2023 in a slight change to the budget cap regulations. Constructors will now be given £244,000 on sprint race weekends compared to £122,000 in 2022. The number of sprint races increases from 3 to 6 with shorter races set to feature in countries such as Belgium, Austria and the United States. However, the changes come just weeks after Red Bull were handed a fine and sporting penalty for breaching the 2021 allowance. 